Formatting your pivot table into a tabular spreadsheet format is a game changer. It's going to allow you to look at your analyzed data in a different way. Once you learn how to do this, you're going to use pivot tables all the time. Pivot tables are a very helpful tool, especially if you work in human resources. It's not just those finance folks who are savvy with spreadsheets who can use pivot tables. It's a really cool way that you can analyze your data very quickly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go up here to insert, we're going to say insert a pivot table. And we're just going to leave the default settings and click OK. And that's going to open a pivot table in a new tab down here. The pivot table will show up just like this, and then you can start selecting fields of information to analyze. So let's take a look at department, and let's say we want to know what is the average salary by department. If we click on salary, that'll go over here into the values column, and you'll notice that it's including the sum of the annual salaries. Let's drop down there, select a value field settings, and then select Average and click OK. So now you can see that it has changed that so that you can see the average salary by department in case that's something you wanted to look at. So just a very quick and powerful way that you can quickly look at your information and analyze your data. One thing that's pretty helpful, let me go ahead and take off the annual salary. Let's say we want to start looking at uh, job we'll say department, we want to see job titles, what job titles are in each department, and who manages those, those folks. As you notice, as we start to add the fields of information to our spreadsheet, it starts to build down kind of like a tree, and it gets somewhat hard to look at. So one thing that we can do is we can format our pivot table to look more like a spreadsheet in tabular form. So in order to do that, we're gonna go up here to design. We're gonna say subtotals, do not show, grand totals, off for rows and columns, report layout, show in tabular form, and then report layout, repeat all item labels, blank rows, remove blank line after each item. Then we're going to go over here to the Analyze, and we're going to uncheck the uh, plus and minus buttons. So this starts to put our pivot table into more of a tabular spreadsheet format. So from there, if we wanted to select everything and then copy and paste it into another column to further sort and filter off of, off of our pivoted information, we could do that. It's a very, very powerful tool, and you can definitely um, play around with it and, and see what, what you want it to do. If I move these fields around to over here, you can move things up and down, and uh, it does change the dynamic of what you're looking at. So uh, just play around with it, and you'll be surprised at what you can derive from all of your information on your just your standard simple report that you ran from your HR system. There are so many ways to use the analytical power of pivot tables. One very useful way is to analyze benefit data. If you have a spreadsheet that lists all of your employees and all of their dependents with all of their benefits and all of their level of coverage and premiums for their benefits, with a few clicks, you can put together a powerful analysis that tells you a lot. So go ahead, play around with it. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to my channel and go ahead and type in the comments below more pivot tables and I'd be glad to put together some more tutorials for you. Be sure to visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com and grab your free download of spreadsheet formulas for HR professionals. Thanks for watching.